Hi, I'm Tyson with Copper Johns, and this is my shop. Hey, what's going on guys? Jay Cruz, and I'm here with the owner of Copper Johns. I'm here with Tyson. So we're going to get to see a little bit about uh, behind the scenes. Tyson, how long have you been in production now for? Uh, two years now. Two years? Yeah. Okay. And uh, before you were in this facility that you kind of created, where were you actually fulfilling orders from? Uh, just from one of our rooms in our house. Really? Yeah. It was, it was a pain. Yeah? What made you kind of decide to switch over and actually create something? We decided to do it when we just, when we were growing to the point where it just wasn't feasible to be able to do it in our house anymore. So uh, what we did is we invested lots and lots of money yeah. and uh, created this lab where we have filters, we have um, several filters, air conditioning specifically, a dehumidifier, all the tools, everything that will require a clean room facility so that we can make sure that the product is the most clean for you when you get it into your house. Okay, Tyson, so there are, you know, you have a lot of customers that place an order. So for someone that places an order through your website, what are the steps as it relates to them receiving the product? Yeah, so every um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'm in the lab just making. And so I'll be making everything for the next week and I'll, so that we'll never run out anything like that. So when an order is placed, I, what I'll do is I'll go to my laptop, print out the receipt, and then just throw it into a bag and make sure that they always have a Copper John sticker or a magnet or a button, something like that that's special for them, along with our little postcard. And uh, then uh, we used to have the post office come here. Yeah. And uh, the post office that is with this location is kind of slow. And so I actually will now go to a different city that's about 20 minutes away to deliver everything just because they get it. The customer usually gets about two days earlier because of that. Awesome. I know uh, just by speaking to different owners in the industry, man, that running a business is not easy at all. So how do you kind of manage your personal life and your business life? You don't as of right now, as you're <laughs> a growing company, you really don't. Luckily I have a wonderful wife. Um, who is with me at all times, really. She's helping me when I'm up, she's up. Mm -hmm. um, when I'm asleep, she's really fulfilling orders, just packing stuff, she's nonstop. Uh, when it comes to my kids, I give them as much time as I can give them um, without hurting uh, the company and the customer, making sure that they get everything. But um, yeah, I spend a lot of time with my kids. So I'm never, I'm never not doing anything. I just don't have downtime. So it's when I'm either with my family or with Copper Johns. So Tyson, I know you've been two years now uh -huh. uh, working in the industry, you have your company. What message do you have for all your customers? Everyone that makes the purchases, everyone that buys the subscription plans, um, all those people that really believe in your brand and your company, what would you want to tell them? How grateful I am. Um, it's crazy to me to think that um, there are people out there that love what I've created, what we've created here at Copper John's. We've tried to create a family. We've tried to create a superior product. We try to create superior customer service and none of that is possible without them. And my customers have become my friends. They've become my family. We'll do lives, they'll be there. We'll do giveaways, they'll be there. We'll do emails, they'll be there. Um, what's funny is, truthfully, um, we hire a, a company to do our emails. And we have, uh, the company that we hired uses an app. And that app company used us as an example through the whole entire world of number four opening uh, in the country. Wow. And it's because of the customers. The customers are amazing. They're wonderful people. and. Uh, just extremely grateful for them. I love your products. I know there's a lot of people that love your products. Let us know your top three best sellers as it relates to your beard oil. Yeah, so with beard oil, 100% um, Nightfall. That's always gonna be our first one. Yep. Um, it's an evening cologne and uh, it really speaks to my generation. Mm -hmm. Between 35 to 55, I just this is our cologne. This is our scent that we grew up in. Yep. And that was, the, that was the vibe I was going for when we have date night. Then the number two is going to be Polis. Okay. So Polis is actually after my grandpa. It's his nickname. And I was trying to go for what he smelled like when I was growing up. And to me, it's a 1920 barber shop without the talcum powder. So it's a very uh, 1920s uh, vibe. And so I did that for Polis. And uh, then our last one is Skipper. Okay. 
Oh, uh, I like that one. Yeah, skippers are lemon lime scent with a twist. Uh, that's what we always call it. Um, it has a little bit of a, everyone says that it's like a Mountain Dew vibe, but to me, or a Sprite vibe, but to me it's more of a lemon margarita. Um, but yeah, so that's those are our top ones. And obviously, as you see, this is from our regular line, so our regular line is going to have a little bit lighter oil, um, not so thick. These are, are more a thicker oil uh, for those who are, who are wanting something a little thicker. Perfect. All right. Tyson, yeah. one of the things that I'm really impressed about, well, that I'm happy about Better Set is your beard butter. Mm -hmm. I think it's a very nice, smooth beard butter, but what I really like is that you actually use a beard butter, when well, I'm using shea butter mm -hmm. from Africa, yeah. from Ghana specifically, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. So why, why did you decide to use something more traditional, more organic, those type of ingredients, compared to something conventional? Yeah, so there's a lot of wonderful companies out there who have amazing butters, and and that's not to slight them at all. Um, just for me personally, um, after doing my research and, and putting different things within my beard and within my face and skin, um, I love the unrefined butter. Um, yeah. It's just it has a nuttier scent to it, um, and sometimes it's strong, sometimes it's not because there's no chemical um, bleaching. There's not there's nothing to it. It's simply here's the butter yeah. in the most natural state. And uh, I feel that with that, with the, the care blend that we put together, it's one of the most superior butters out there. Yeah. I really do. Wow, awesome. Hey, what's going on guys? So that was a quick brief tour of the Copper John's lab. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this type of content, hit a like on the video. If you're new to the channel, you like beard care, barbershop culture, self care, this is your channel. Hit the button that says subscribe, hit the bell for notification, and I'll see you guys next time for another Into the Shop episode. Let's go.